in 88, you were the first winner of the first ever Royal Rumble. Did you ever imagine it would grow to become this iconic event today? No, I don't think anybody realized it would become, you know, probably the top you know, two or three uh, Wrestle or WWE events. But I don't think anybody realized how big the WWE would become back then, you know, I mean, the, the worldwide powerhouse it is now. And that's why it was good, you know, because WWF was my heyday. You know, that's, and so, but I, they brought me back as a talent in WWE. So I like to joke, I said, WWF, I wrestled Dusty, DiBiase, and Orton. WWE, I wrestled DiBiase's kid, Dusty's kid, and Orton's kid. Right, <laughs> so exactly. First I beat up the old man, then I beat up the kid. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, fire it up. My neighbor says. <laughs> <laughs> I bet they're used to it. Um, how was that idea pitched to you guys in the back? I heard um, Pat Patterson came up with that idea. Yeah, well, you know, actually, it's easy, one of the easier matches to, to, to put out there, you know, a lot. But the biggest thing to me, I was shocked I was going to win of all the people they had on the card. And that's obviously the huge, biggest feather I have in my cap is the Royal Rumble for me to win that. And I was in shock pretty much the rest of the night. But as the mechanics of a match, it's very easy. You know, you just got to know who goes out before you and then who puts you out. So if Lanny goes out before me, when I see Lanny go out and you're putting me out, I come over to you and I'm like, JP, put me out. Right. So it's, it's, uh, it's mechanically, it's a very easy, easy match. But uh, to make it look good, it's, uh, that's why those guys are the, the, the best in the world. And I tell kids, you know, they come up to me and they're like, hey, you know, I want to be a WWE wrestler. I'm like, well, great. You know, chase your dreams because who would have ever thought Daniel Bryant would have made it? You know, I look at that kid, I'm like, there's no way in the world this guy's going to make it. But there's a guy who had the heart, the desire, the work ethic, and obviously became a huge star. So I tell kids, chase your dreams. But also remember, this year in the NFL, there's 1,500 NFL football players. There's 600 NBA basketball players. There's probably 100 WWE wrestlers on contract. Very, very competitive business. And the odds of making it, that a better chance to play uh, Major League Soccer. Just a numbers game, you know. That's right. And you got to have heart, work hard, and hopefully get over in the process. And be in the right place at the right time. Yeah, you got to be right. in the right place, right time. Right. It's not like some sport where you say, okay, if you can get a, uh, you know, a 36-inch vertical jump and you can run a four-flat, uh, you know, whatever, and, and this kind of bench press 500 pounds, you got a good shot of making it. That doesn't work in wrestling, you know. Well, so who would know a guy with a piece of wood and yelling hole would work? Oh, yeah!